hello in this particular video we will discuss about the basic requirement to understand cellular concept in wireless communication there is a air interface that is the architecture that provides mobility to the user to understand that mobility that means we have to understand how wired network can be converted into the wireless so the wired network that was provided by landline telephone network across the country in india it is provided by bsnl so how bsnl works so if we if we, if we consider we want to convert a metro city completely from wire to wireless because wireless communication provide mobility to the user so when we are talking about wireless we need a wireless frequency spectrum so in wireless frequency spectrum if we if we little bit at uh, take a calculation that each user required 3.3 kilohertz bandwidth because our most of the voice effective information covers till the 3.3 kilohertz bandwidth itself for the sake of a round figure we take the 4 kilohertz bandwidth a metro city like ahmedabad for example having 10 lakh customer those are in the wired now if they want to switch over to the wireless they they definitely required 4 kilohertz bandwidth each so 10 lakh customer need 4 kilohertz that lead to 4 gigahertz bandwidth now 4 gigahertz bandwidth is a very very huge requirement in terms of spectrum to understand what a 4 gigahertz bandwidth can do we we try to understand the available spectrum the available spectrum if we if we take a simple figure around from the 3 kilohertz to 5 gigahertz almost all the technologies of wireless which you imagine which you have used which you come across are a part of the spectrum a very famous and uh, foremost wireless communication was or in am radio fm radio garage door openers tv remote control remote control based toys then broadcast television channels then you can see the broadcast uhf channel channels there is a cell a cell phone which we will discuss in this particular chapter ism band there is a gps frequency bands and bluetooth wifi zigbee all this frequency short range wireless technologies which we are using cable tv that is your tata sky airtel reliance all this particular applications police radio are covered in this particular spectrum from 3 kilohertz to 5 kilohertz 5 gigahertz or so so number of applications are covered and we had to talk about 4 gigahertz is the requirement to provide a wireless telephony to the user in a metro city that is totally illogical and impractical so what is the theme theme is 4 gigahertz is a clearly impractical no other service possible using the radio spectrum even if we provide 4 gigahertz to particular city but the motivation to us is if we talk about the nature of the user so that is not efficient use of wireless spectrum say for example x person is having wireless connectivity do he communicate all the day all the hours all the time if he is using 10 minute or 20 minute in total out of 24 hours that means he is a not efficient user of the available spectrum and that is a good point for us 
that we should think something how to provide access of the frequency to number of users and not dedicated one frequency to one user. So this is about audio. The thing is a uh, most worst when we are talking about data because data may require further very large bandwidth. Nowadays data are equally important in compared to voice. People would like to chat via WhatsApp, would like to share via Facebook, people like to see the news on mobile and would like to see the stock market exchanges, live cricket score and what not. So data is very 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 bulk in the particular information and it requires further very large bandwidth. So we have to solve this issue. How to provide wireless connectivity to individual for voice and data. To do so, we have to understand one particular diagram. If you see this particular diagram, where a large city like Ahmedabad and its periphery of around 20-30 km is covered by one centrally located tower a huge tower usually because it height need in such a length so that its wireless propagation covers the required area a huge area if you talk about the first experiment of wireless mobile telephony that has been done by bell laboratory in 1970 so it was around a few kilometers one tower was sound and maximum 12 people were communicate in one particular area so this is uh, provided by large power and large height it so it provides a very good coverage but when one tower is used by certain users in one particular area the same frequency could not be again used in these larger area because same frequency in a common medium always interfere each other and this is a very fascinating application so when initially few users have started to use it more users demanded this service and the service provider if you want to serve the new number of users he may require more spectrum so what to do every country has some authority that provides a spectrum to companies that is a procedure like auction and all so in india that is a telecom regulation authority of india try that provide the spectrum but the it is not like that if number of users demand more to the mobile service provider they will go to the try and try will give them frequency spectrum so mobile service provider and the engineer has to do something with the challenge to provide more and more capacity to, num to more and more users. To do so, there has to be something restructure of the available radio spectrum to achieve very high capacity with limited available spectrum. How to do it? So to answer this, I think we all have heard one particular word that is cell phone. Let us talk about how cell phone word comes. What is cell? So earlier when the larger area was covered by one particular tower is now going to be divided into the smaller smaller areas and small height antenna tower with the smaller power radiation which should cover the one particular smaller geographical area and this area is known as a cell and whenever the user with the particular instrument is communicating with this tower to be uh, connected during its mobility it's known as cell and the device which used to communicate in this cell is known as cell phone so what is an idea the huge area was covered by one particular tower is now divided into the smaller smaller areas which known as a cell 
it is done deliberately so that the frequency used in one particular small area can be again used somewhere else and more number of user can be served in a better way this is known as improvement in frequency capacity sorry so improvement in capacity that is high capacity is achieved by limiting the coverage of each base station to a small geographic area that is cell to understand further how multiple access techniques can also help to improve the capacity we will try to understand these three technologies for the multiple access multiple access itself represent a common channel can be accessed by multiple users so here if you see the time axis here if you see the frequency axis and this is the power axis time frequency and power so to avoid the interference how do we share the common medium so the common medium or channel can be shared by different frequency can be shared by different time and if you want to share in the same frequency on the same time there should be a different code in this frequency division multiple access if we see this axis each color denoted one particular carrier and its appropriate bandwidth so all these users are able to communicate on the same time but they must be on the different frequencies the best examples i would like to give that is we all enjoy the fm music some fm stations are located at 98.3 some are located at 104.2 some are located at 83 point something so these are the different carrier frequencies assigned to different users and at the same time they can communicate while here the time is divided into the smaller smaller slots and on the same frequency this one particular place that means same frequency the user are communicate on different time so they can be communicate by one by one in a time domain when i say one by one in time domain what is an idea the idea is here in a cell one frequency can be assigned to number of users each users will use to a defined time then the turn will be changed to another user is it possible yes it is quite possible as you have seen through sampling theorem a sampling theorem suggests that if we take the discrete values of our signal by satisfying the required number of sample as per sampling theorem at the receiver side we can reconstruct the original signal without distortion so we will take the benefit of sampling theorem here and will divide our communication signal into the time slots so in gsm the combination of fdma and tdma are used while if you see the another technology where you can communicate at the same time you can communicate at the same frequency but the different user must be having different code the code usually designed with one orthogonal property so that they can give the best result and they are able to communicate the same time and same frequency so here multiple access techniques improves a capacity because earlier if we think these all smaller areas are served by one particular frequency now the same frequency can be helped to communicate number of users so it further improves your capacity in terms of user access so in this particular video we have talked about initially how we turn from wire to wireless we have talked about how a large geographical area is covered into the smaller smaller areas we have talked about how the channel capacity can be enhanced by multiple techno access technologies in the next video we'll discuss about how the frequency reuse further improve capacity